Talk fans. Today we're going to be talking about something that I have come across which I think is really cool from over in Korea. This is the news that Microsoft, in collaboration with the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, or KAIST, have developed a new program which can simulate one continuous object between two independent controllers. These virtual bonds are created to slot onto the ends of devices such as by trackers, allowing inputs to be tracked in a way that recognizes the angle and velocity of movement beyond what conventional controllers can track, all in four degrees of freedom. This means that objects like skipping rope, fishing rods, exercise barbells and all sorts of other things can be recreated easily in VR without the need for physical props. The problem with building whole devices that accurately recreate these movements is that once in place, those linkages cannot change to reflect different physical objects or be easily removed when more controller freedom is needed. This tech can detect bending, twisting and stretching movement, substantially augmenting the functionality of VR controllers and offering some degree of haptic feedback. Essentially, this is just a great example of what can be done with the right technology and a bit of imagination. That's all for today from us at Vive Talk. Thanks very much and see you next time. <laughs>